father, his mother, grandmother, you know, if any of them would have survived. Because don't forget, when the cattle cars were uh, being unloaded, young, very young children and elderly women were told to go one way, which was right to the crematorium, uh, or the gas chambers first and then the crematorium, and young boys and men were, told, were held to uh, do forced labor. So, uh, you know, uh, I doubt very much whether uh, Felix's mom would have survived or uh, if this guy's grandmother and mother would have survived, which means that uh, the rebellious rev wouldn't be here. And what would you do then, Mark? I know every Friday. Well, I tell Monday, you one Friday thing: I night. wouldn't be killing myself on Monday and Friday trying to put together a show with you. You, know, you really work <laughs> hard at it. I know. I come here and give you, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I, uh, I'm your biggest uh, fan. You know. Yeah. What can I say? You know, at uh, this time. So I'm telling the story about my mother and everything. I'm going to play the song that was written about her. Give us a uh, give us a break for a couple of minutes. I'm going to play the acoustic, acoustic version only because it's easier to understand the words. So let me go ahead and put that on, and uh, maybe now you know my story. Maybe the the uh, the song will make a little more sense to you. So here it is, Amalia. I hope. Did you listen to the words at all? It's the third time I heard it. Third time? Oh, that's right. That's right. You're one of the loyalists, I forgot. 
I heard. I didn't hear. I didn't hear. Well, actually, it's actually now. That's my second time hearing Amalia. I missed Amalia on when it, when you first played it on Monday. I caught the show. I think a little bit after that. Right. Song. I got all the. I I was listening to all the other songs, but on Wednesday when I was sitting at my desk, I um I put the show on. So I heard Amalia, and I texted you. I told you that I I loved all. Yeah, the no, songs. you said you liked the other, you like you didn't like this like version the, as I much as the like other one. The, right, I like the rock version. Now that's what I call a loyal listener. Yep. Well, when I when I sent out you know on Facebook and uh, to my email people on AOL, you know uh, I said. To our loyal listeners, and in parentheses, I said, all two of you, you know, <laughs> because aside from you, there must be somebody who listens. I don't know. You know, most people wait for the uh, podcast. You know, I, I will say that because I know uh, when I don't send around the show, you know, my friend down in Florida qu- asks me what happened, you know, he, then he gives me the whole spiel, you know, the show must go on, you know. Well, what but, I uh, well, you know, no. This is what I usually do. If if I'm not tired after like Friday night, I'll I'll go back and I'll listen to the show because especially if I'm on it because I I listen to see what it said and you know what we all said and whatever. And then on Monday, being that I have to get up early in the morning. I listen. I'll listen when I'm at work. Um, I'll take some time out and I'll plug my earphone. Well, I listen to music anyway when I'm at my desk. But I'll I'll stop listening to my radio and I plug in uh, the show and I listen to it again. And um, I just I wanted to hear the songs again. Uh, and of course Tuesday, you know, was a snow day, so I really couldn't do much. I had Samantha home with me. Um, so Wednesday, when I went back to work, as as busy as I was, I was like, I got to hear these songs again. Um, but I I wanted to like li- literally, literally hear the the words again. And I got to tell you, she is awesome. I mean, she she, she writes everything herself. So. The she, remind, the, she, reminds, uh, she reminds me of a friend of mine that I grew up with who also writes her own songs and um she's she's worked with Brenda K. Starr and a few other people and I mean that's a talent, it's a gift. I mean it's it's great. I mean if you have that ability, you know, you should just go for it and I'm sure you, you know, your brother and your sister-in-law and everybody in your family have to be so proud of her. Oh, absolutely. You know, she just, but you know, she'll do it if she, uh, she'll, she'll never stop doing it. Does it? The money is it doesn't uh, is not what drives her because she's not making any money right now. But that's not the reason she's doing it. She just has a drive to do to write the music. That's the she just awesome hears thing. It she, yeah, she just hears it in her head or whatever. I don't know how she, and uh, she starts working on it. I know the 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 they just produced a couple of more uh, songs. I want to see what they how they are, and maybe you play a couple more. Well, I actually also looked show. her up. I I I googled her and looked her up and so I wanted to see if I was able to see you know listen to a few other songs while I was listening you know after I listened to the show on Wednesday mm-hmm. um I you know I was doing that in between working and mm-hmm. um I I I some of the some of her songs are like really deep but in a good way deep I mean she she writes as if she's or as she's singing 
as like you can feel it. You can feel the mood. You can feel the tempo. You can you you can understand where she's coming from. Um, yeah. And like I said, it's it, it's incredible. I mean, that that that's an awesome. She's, thing. Yeah, she's really very talented. I'll tell you which song I really enjoyed, and it wasn't. It was actually probably a little different than what she usually writes. Is the Christmas dinner song. That was really a wonderful song. Yeah, that I was good. I, knew about I, it when we were. I liked her. I, was it the was it the last song or the second to last song? Where is it? Seed in the water. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good song. Yep. Yeah, yeah, That's it was. the one that's like really deep. Uh, actually, all the songs are good. Fly was good. I like Fly. Fly was good, yeah. yeah. yeah so hopefully we can promote her a little bit and get her moving along. Well, and, if, you uh, need any, if you need any help doing that, just let me know. I know people in the business. Do you? Yes, yes I do. When I was... Really? When I was 18, um, okay, you all, you you know that I my my ex fiance has passed away, but when I when we were together, he has a friend whose brother played with Billy Joel, and also oh, yeah? was and he was also uh, he also played um, piano on uh, Regis. And Kathy Lee back in the mid to late eighties, um, they wanted to record me when I was eighteen because I was very into music. I mean, I am into music, but I was very much into it. I sang and and all that, and mm-hmm. I said no. I didn't want to be recorded because I was kind of embarrassed. I didn't want to devote all my time to it. Um, and I didn't want to get in front of people and start singing, you know, people I didn't know. And I right. didn't do it. And I'm, so- I'm sorry that I didn't do it. But in any event, I I know him. And like I said, my, I know my friend that writes her own music, I, I'm actually seeing her next Friday because it's my 30th high school reunion. And she's going to be there, and there's going to be other people there that are in the music business. So, I mean, I can talk to them. I can't promise anything's right, going well, to happen, but, I mean, I, no, can, well, I, I know. can, you know, I can throw her name out and, you know, maybe let them listen, you know, show, tell them where to go so they can hear it. Yeah. That'll be nice. Anyway, uh we're going to actually cut this show short today because it's already, uh, what time is it? I don't even know. It's 10.28. 10.28, 10.30, and I'm actually we started multitasking. late. I'm multitasking we, we, right we, now because I'm watching the uh, Australian Open while I'm listening to you guys. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. I know you enjoy your tennis yeah, no, well, we're, just, we're not even sure end. how it's taping today, so we, we want to go back and we haven't had a good show now in a couple of weeks. We got to find out what's going wrong. The better equipment we get, the worse the shows get. I don't understand it. Well, I thought you said anyway, that was so your gonna, equipment. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna have to throw it all out and start all over. I did that already. Still, it still didn't work. <laughs> anyway, I think uh, somebody's out to get us. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mark, what do you think? Um, I think it sounds good. You know, I mean, uh, we're, we're so frustrated. Oh, wait. Here we go. We're so frustrated by, uh, you know, Felix will tell me it's working, and then I get here and it's not working, and he gets it to work, and then all of a sudden it's not working. So we put, yeah. that's why we postponed the starting time. You know, till yeah, nine thirty. Yeah. Well, we're even lucky we made it on the air at all. Yeah. You know, I mean, but we, 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 start, we it's because of loyal thing. listeners like you, Elisa. You see. 
Anyway, we're going to go ahead and 